welcome back to our channel and thank you all for tuning in and thank you for supporting us and but if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed yet please encourage us by doing so and we shall continue to bring you the latest news as they come and together we can work with our great leader Mazin Amdekanu, IPOB and Eastern Security Network to make our Biafran dream a reality he say after the united nation you know voice out their concern and broke their silence on the kidnap of mazin and the kanu the fulani nigerian government have sent their janjawi terrorist police to target Igbo traders because of annoyance and because of Mazin and the Kanu. That is what is happening. They, there is heavy shooting at the Balogo International Market or Jaw Lagos as policemen from Area E, Festac, invaded the market, shooting indiscriminately. They are shooting indiscriminately. You know, the chief security officer of the market who spoke with some journalists while running away from the scene said that the that the fulani nigerian police you know invaded the market they invaded the market because they want to install an efulefu in the market they want to stop the Afrans from supporting our leader mazin namdekanu come july 26 at the federal high court abuja so that's what they are doing. You know, the police are lying that they want to, you know, bring peace. Whereas they were shooting discriminately, indiscriminately. They were shooting at everyone. There was sporadic shooting because the Fulani Nigerian government believes that the Biafran traders are a threat to their one Nigerian scam. They are threats, and they believe that the Biafran traders have not condemned Mazen and the Kanu, and they have not shown solidarity to the Fulani Nigerian government, as Biafran politicians have shown when they kidnapped our leader Mazen and the Kanu. My brothers and my sisters, even the Nobel laureates, Wale Shoyinka, for the first time is supporting IPOB. What well, Lesho Inka said, Mazin Namdekanu was kidnapped by the Fulani Nigerian government. According to him, he said there will be an uproar in the country if the truth of how Kanu kidnapped becomes known. And that is why the Fulani Janjaweed are scared. They are afraid. They are afraid. My brothers and my sisters, you know, this happened because the Fulani Janjaweed sent their notorious DSS, who are mainly from the French-speaking countries of Africa, the Fulani Janjaweed Sahel regions, to invade the home of the Yoruba freedom fighter Sunday Iboho. And that was why Wale Shoyinka had to shout out loud and supported Mazin and the Kanu. You know, according to Wale Shoyinka, he said the Nigerian government acted like a criminal. They acted like a terrorist. Imagine the Kaduna state governor couldn't do anything and there was an attack by Fulani terrorist bandits on a school in Kaduna today. They went on a kidnapping spree and nothing has been done. But they went to Igbo traders at the Balogun International Market and started shooting sporadically. You know, they invaded the Trade Fair International Market Lagos 
And they are shooting sporadically. And this is what the Fulani Janjaweed is doing. Targeting Igbos at all times. You know, Biafra will solve all this problem once and for all. They will solve it. And Biafrans should not wait for July 26 to invade Abuja. They should not. To invade Abuja. They should not. Because the Fulani Janjaweed knows that the, their case has no bearing. They know that they have lost that case against our leader, Mazin Amdekanu. And now they are targeting Igbo traders. They are targeting them. They are targeting them. You know, what Lecher Inka said, he said that the Meyeti Ala group, a Fulani terrorist group, have continued to act unchecked. Why the Fulani Nigerian government have refused to mount the same energy against them? So people are right to say there has been an unequal and irregular approach to security and enforcement in the Zoological Republic of Nigeria. He advised the Fulani Janjaweed Nigerian government to stop blame game and take action. But there is no Nigeria anymore. Nigeria has broken. It has broken. You know, it has broken. That is why the whole Biafrans, the whole Satanas, must join hand together to support our leader, Mazi Namdekanu, IPOB an Eastern Security Network to liberate themselves from the stronghold of the Fulani Janjaweed. You know, the Fulani Nigerian government, they target Igbos, they kill Igbos for carrying Biafran flags. But they do nothing to the terrorist Fulani Janjaweed carrying AK-47 because they are Fulanis like themselves. You know, that's what they did. They looked the other way. They looked the other way. They looked the other way. And that is why the Casino State Governor, Masari, said that the Hausas and other indigenous tribes of Nigeria should not wait for the police or for the Nigerian army or for the president to defend themselves against the Fulani terrorist bandits attack. He told them to now use their teeth to attack. You know, because they have taken away guns from people, from those vigilantes, they have ban the use of guns against the Fulani Janjawi and any community that attacks or retaliates or fight back against the Fulani terrorists, they will send the military after that community and erase that community. That's what they are doing. Imagine he has turned or he has asked indigenous tribes of Nigeria to turn to zombies in order to attack or defend themselves from the attack of Fulani terrorist bandits. That's what he said. You know, the federal government of Nigeria, the Fulani Nigerian government, is allocating 750,000 Naira to settle foreign terrorist Fulanis in Nigeria. They have set aside the money. And nobody is talking about that. So for every foreign terrorist Fulani that comes to Nigeria, he has 700,000 Naira to settle down. They don't care how they spend the money. As long as you are Fulani, you go to the ministry, they will give you the money. That's what they are doing. Thank you, my brothers and my sisters, for watching this video. Thank you for supporting our channel. 
Please watch out for the next and bye-bye for now.